President Biden made his first visit to East Palestine, Ohio, this afternoon, just over a year after a Norfolk Southern train derailed there, sparking a toxic chemical fire that burned for two days. The president met with the residents and community leaders affected by the disaster and promised that nobody will be left behind. CBS's Roxana Saberi is there. Today, President Biden toured the disaster site for the first time, vowing the federal government would stay until the job is done. I want to we continue to hold Norfolk Southern accountable, make sure they make uh, your community whole. It's been just over a year since a Norfolk Southern train carrying toxic chemicals derailed in East Palestine, Ohio, and crews decided to vent and burn the carcinogen vinyl chloride to avoid what the rail operator warned could be a catastrophic explosion. <laughs> Former President Trump visited shortly after. You've already shown us, uh, you know, how little you think of us. Today, his campaign blasted Biden for not doing the same. At a pro-Trump rally in East Palestine today, Kayla Miller, who fled with her three children after the derailment, agreed. He has not helped us. He's too little too late. Do you want the federal government to step in? At this point, I'll take anything. <laughs> you know, we're crying for somebody to help us to either get us out of the situation or go back and clean this properly. The Environmental Protection Agency says the air, soil and drinking water are safe and that it's closely supervising the cleanup and environmental testing by Norfolk Southern. But activist Misty Allison, who met with President Biden today, says many of her fellow residents are still suffering from health issues they didn't have before the derailment. What are the biggest concerns? The long-term health implications. Is this going to be a cancer cluster in 10, 20, 30 years? Will Hardin is a senior director at Norfolk Southern. If East Palestine becomes a cancer cluster, what would Norfolk Southern do? Will it still be there to help? From a long-term health standpoint, we are addressing that uh, with the with the state and uh, local authorities. So is it an option that's on the table? It is an option that is on the table. Many residents here don't trust Norfolk Southern. Some are calling on President Biden to issue a disaster declaration, which could bring in more resources for long-term health and environmental monitoring. Jerika? Roxana Saberi, thank you.